Well, hello again, and welcome back to my workshop. This video is a bit of a departure. This is a video about showing how YouTube can actually really help you gain confidence, uh, to do things that you didn't think you could do, and not just YouTube, but certain creators on YouTube. And the first thing I want to do is to introduce you to a new uh, addition to my workshop, one that I feel uh, very proud of and I'm really excited about using. And the reason I'm making this video is because when it came to me, when I bought it, um, and I managed to get it for ridiculously little money, it was in need of some love and attention. And rather typical of me, I decided, well, I can't do this, it's beyond me, I've, I've, I've never felt confident to, to tackle my lathe or my milling machine in terms of the mechanics, in terms of servicing or any of that. And I think a lot of people out there are like me. They think, well, okay, that's beyond me. I can make a knife or I can make a piece of uh, tooling or, or something, but when it comes to the machines, ah, you know, I can't do that. And so I was going to leave it and just give it a, a, a quick clean and etc. And then my, my dear friend, uh, Dimitris Polychronis, who is the creator of Jimmy's Canal, um, said to me, it's okay, I'll help you. I'll talk you through it. I'll, I'll show you what to do. And why not do it? Why not just, you know, push your comfort zone a little bit? And um, so I did. And so you're going to miss the beginning part of it because I really uh, was so kind of anxious and stressed about doing it all um, that I didn't video it, but I, I decided actually what he did for me and what I hope these videos will do for you too in a, in, a, in, a, in a slightly different way is to give you the confidence to actually just challenge yourself, do it, take it, take it on, you know, have a go. And so let me show you what the task at hand is. And again, don't forget, please, if you like this video or the concept of my channel, please subscribe, please like, please dislike if you want, uh, m leave comments, um, but I love hearing from you and there's nothing I like better than interacting with, with my subscribers and my viewers. So let's carry on now. So here it is. This is my new toy. It's a probably 1950s or 1960s pillar drill or post drill. Um, it was advertised at, uh, in the auction that I bought it from as a uh, Meddings British made pillar drill, um, but it's not clearly, it's got it doesn't look anything like a Meddings drill. And um, I actually thought it was a Fobco, which is another very fine uh, drill, um, but it's not done either because when I started cleaning it up, I noticed that I mean, this was under a, a mire of grease. Um, it's made by a company called JGH. And by the way, this is another reason for this video is if anybody out there knows anything about these the, these drills or this company I would love to know because I've not been able to find anything about it online and I've posted on a couple of forums and nobody can help me so it's made by a company called JGH it's possible that it's a, a kind of rebranding of a Fobco or something else but it's a beautifully made machine I mean the, it, it's a, a cast uh, iron machine it's 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 beautifully made, everything's solid, it's got oilers everywhere, um, it's smooth as anything, and, and I'm still in the process of, of cleaning it all up. Um, as you can see, there are bits missing, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, so this has a particular thing which I really like, which I'm going to explain to you next. So you see that on the pulley here, there is this extra geared wheel which is independent and turns by itself until you engage it by pushing this pin down of course with single-handedly it's going to be difficult to there and that as you can see must engage something and what it engages is this very impressive piece um, this is going to go back up there the top of the spindle um, has a bearing that goes in here and this has an eccentric wheel, as you can, I don't know if you can see that it moves in and out, and that will engage with that top wheel. Now, I did a lot of research about this, and I really wasn't at all confident about what it was, but what it appears to be is that it enables you 
to when you engage this wheel, which you can engage or disengage, is that it will permit you to add massive torque at low speed. So either you can then use a very, very big drill bit into some very serious steel at slow um, revolutions, or indeed you can use it to tap um, uh, steel using the, the drill press. So I've cleaned this up, that's going to go back in, and um, I'm going to show you the other bits and pieces which, which I've now cleaned, which you can probably already see in the background. So this is all the stuff that I've already cleaned. I mean, these are the bearings which I'm replacing. I've decided I'm, I'm just going to replace all of them. They, 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 they grind a little bit despite the cleaning. So why not? I've done it. So um, let's replace the bearings. It came with two number two Morse taper chucks, which again I've cleaned. And this is the basic assembly for the quill uh, and the spring. Now, I promise you, when I saw this, I thought, when it was all together, I said, I can never do that. I can see the grub screws, etc., etc. But I was terrified of taking it all apart. And Dimitris talked me through it, literally talked me through it, about what I had to do to take each piece apart, what bearings I should probably replace. And I, I really look forward to you um, coming along the journey with me to put this beautiful machine back together in a, a restored sense. Now, I don't mean restored in the sense of paint, or, or all that. I, I love the way it looks. I don't want to restore any of that. But I do want to um, make the quill and all the, uh, uh, the drilling parts as perfect and restored as possible. Obviously, it was a three-phase machine. It was a three-phase machine. I have uh, now converted it to single phase. And with the power of this motor, I'm going to have absolutely wonderful torque. Okay, so it's been a few days and I've had to wait for the new bearings to arrive, but they're finally here. So I'm delighted about that. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I've put this in the freezer, um, hoping that it's going to help to get these on. Um, I'm probably going to have to do some work. I don't think you'd like to do it this way. I'm careful. I should get away with it. Okay, next piece of the puzzle, but this time I think I'm going to use the vise. Another thing is I've become a little bit of a, a slave to this argument between um, um, should one use oil or grease, and what I've decided is that I've, I've been doing a lot of reading about it, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm mainly going to use um, oil within the quill and then grease around the gears and spring, um, and I hope that's going to be all right. Um, Anyway, that's the, the way I've decided to go with this. Um, screw that had a rather unusual size.
completely failed to show you how I put that back in and I'm really sorry about that. My camera died and then um, I forgot to film because I was so involved in doing it. And the trick is that actually you can assemble the spring back onto the, the, the arbor here um, before you put it in. So what you do is when you've got the spring out, coil the spring, put it back inside this. You'll see it's a case that the spring goes back into and there's a notch that goes into the slit in the arbor that operates the quill. Um, oil it, put the arbor into the spring, then push the whole thing back in, find so that it engages the worm screw and then you're in. Okay, and then this thing, before you tighten this grub screw, this fits a spanner. Um, I did it one a bit smaller than the one I was using. Actually, this is the wrong spanner even. Um, anyway, it fits a spanner. And you can t you, you tighten the coil. And then once you've got it to a good um, uh, tension, you know when this is straight, that grub screw that's here will fit into a slot in there. So basically that's the trick, okay? It's, 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 it, it baffled me for a while, but then once you get the, the gist of it, 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 it kind of makes sense. Um, okay. So the next part of the operation now is to uh, put all the gearing back into the top here. So I've got to get up on a ladder. I'm not quite sure I'm going to film this. Um, I'll think of something. is on. The belt is now tight. I wonder if I'll ever grab the right one. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Um, This is rather nerve-wracking, but let's hope everything goes well. And I'll tell you one big difference from before I did this. It's far quieter than it was before. It was quite noisy the first time I tried it. I just wanted to demonstrate this, the, how this works here. I'm going to disengage this wheel and then the eccentric, so I hope I don't come across the camera. Okay, so now if I start it again.
I've got extraordinary torque of the chuck, even at very, very low speed. Okay, so I've now wired up the, um, the switch to the VFD. Um, Three seconds slow down and reverse. So I look forward to trying that with the tap and the high torque. I to use a pretty thick piece of steel to I'm doing we've still got a bit of run out. It has got a bit of run out. So I will investigate that. So now I've changed the bit to a ten and a half mil. I just want to see how powerful this thing is. Just for fun, I'm going to engage the torque assist upstairs. Pretty happy with that. So there you have it. Um, really the purpose of this video obviously was to show off my new machine a little bit, but also to show that with a bit of help you really can take on things that you never thought you could take on. And I'm not kidding, I would never have touched this without the help of Dimitris. And I know there are loads of other YouTube creators out there who are so generous and so kind and willing to help and there's another person I need to uh, mention actually, which is um, Costas, who is an electrical engineer, one of Demetrius's best friends, who helped me a lot with the electrics on this. And um, I have changed things from three phase to, to single phase, but that was a long time ago. Anyway, it's just to show that don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, I hope this encourages you to take on stuff. And there are people out there who will help you. There are many, many. So I hope you enjoyed it and obviously there's still lots of work I need to do on this cleaning other bits and pieces but I've done the, 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 the big part. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I know there was a lot of talking and it's a bit slow and I hope you still enjoyed it. And if you like it, please like. Um, if you want to know something, please comment. 
or if you want to say something and of course please please subscribe thanks very much indeed